So in my practice, I see a lot of people with chronic lung disease, uh, in particular asthma and COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Wood smoke is tremendously harmful to them. In fact, any kind of smoke is harmful to them. For example, during the recent wildfires when my asthma patients were exposed to a lot of smoke in the environment, almost every single one of them lost control of their disease and required me putting them on special medication just to get them through sort of their exposure. Smoke from wildfire is detrimental because it sort of pollutes the entire environment. But smoke in a home is probably worse because it's confined to a house, it's confined to a structure, and it builds up to even higher levels of the particulates that are really harmful. This is really bad, especially if people don't have pristine fireplaces that allow for the smoke to, to leave. So it accumulates to really high levels. And in fact, when someone's exposed to that wood smoke in a home versus outside of the home, they're much more likely to have uh, an effect on their lungs. If you take someone who's healthy, wood smoke is harmful because it irritates the air ways, but then also it has very small particles in it that get into the very, very furthest parts of the airways and can cause problems. It can cause allergic problems, it can cause irritation, and if they have an underlying lung disease, it can actually worsen that lung disease just because of the small particles that are getting deep into the lungs. A lot of the problems associated with wood smoke come from the burning of the wood, but also materials that are in the wood. And it really depends on the kind of wood that's burnt. For example, if you do burn things, synthetic woods or you know presto logs or something of that nature, there are a lot of chemicals in there that are not just wood. Similarly, if you get wood that you've chopped down around your house and you burn that, it may have sap in it. It may have a number of different things that when combusted or when incinerated can cause a lot of pollutants in the air. Just like cigarettes, cigarettes have tobacco, which is a plant, but they have a number of additives that when you burn it, it creates over 250 known uh, irritating things to people's airways. I usually see two things in the winter time when I deal with patients who are losing control of their asthma uh, or their COPD. One is they say they just smell smoke in the environment from neighbors burning wood smoke. Oftentimes they don't make the connection that the wood that they're burning in their own homes is actually causing worsening of their disease. Uh, sometimes I have to sort of alert them to that fact. I think people don't understand that wood smoke is harmful to their health for a couple reasons. One nostalgia. They like to burn wood. It reminds them of a simpler time. But the other is they don't want to upset the other members of their family. So they'll, they'll, they'll deal with worsening of their disease just to have the wood smoke burning. If I'm asked by my patients, what are the dangers of wood smoke? I would tell them a couple things. First, I would tell them that wood smoke actually can worsen their lung disease. Number two, I ask them to think into the future. How much money are they eventually going to spend or do they think they're going to spend on their chronic lung disease? versus how much would they spend to replace their wood-burning stove into something that's cleaner. And last, I would tell them they're putting kids in, in jeopardy. Wood smoke does a tremendous harm to children. Number one, it keeps them from doing the things they want to be doing keeps them from playing sports, keeps them from enjoying outside activities with their friends. Number two, wood smoke is really bad for kids because their lungs are still developing. If they're exposed to all that fine particulate matter, it actually can cause more harm down the line that they may not notice right up front or importantly, their physicians or their, or their family might not notice up front. For example, children who are exposed to a lot of wood smoke, wood smoke, cigarette smoke, all sorts of different kinds of smoke early in life are much more likely to have chronic lung disease later. That includes asthma, that includes COPD or emphysema. People don't understand how detrimental wood smoke is to children. And the more we can tell them about this, probably the more they're gonna think about burning. Why are we hearing more now about wood smoke than ever? First of all, our population's growing. Wood smoke is not just produced in a few locations, it's now being produced in a lot of locations. Two, it's cumulative over time. The more smoke we have over time, over time, over time, the more smoke and the more particulate matter is going to be in the air. Three, we know more about it. We know it's more harmful. The science is there. And I would, I would say it's, it's not disputable at this point. And last, um, I think we're finally making the connection between chronic lung issues and chronic health issues in general, and particulate matter, some of which comes from wood smoke. <laughs>